Hey there everyone, welcome back again to another video of PTC Crypto Parametric. In this 119th video, I will be talking about how you can set up default font for drawing in PTC Crypto Parametric. And when I say default font, it will be there permanently. It's not like you need to do it every time. It is one time permanent process. And maybe you need to pay a little bit of more attention to this because it is not straightforward. All right, so without further ado, let's get started okay so first of all we need to think of which font i would like to have so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna select let's say this text because text can give us even a better feel and then as i select the text here you can see this is the font that you know this text is using now from here i would like to go with let's say arial wgl okay so this makes more sense i guess because this kind of taking less of space while maintaining or having a similar kind of font height and then i decided that this is the font i'm gonna use now the next thing what we need to do is we need to see what is the name of this font and for that we require to visit this folder okay so you need to see where you have installed ptc creo so this is the ptc creo installed and then this is version this is common file so you need to look for common file folder and in common file look for the text and now inside the text you need to look for font okay so i'm gonna look for font and here we go so here we can see all these fonts that uh, we might have seen here in this list exist here and sometime it may also happen that you know you would like to install your own font so if you are looking to install your own font this is the directory where you need to paste okay now let me have a look at this arial wgl so this is a real name of arial wgl okay which is ar underscore wgl and then underscore again and this underscore look like two two underscores together so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go rename and then let me select the whole name here and if in case you only see ar underscore wgl underscore underscore then i would suggest you go here on the top and then make sure you have enabled this file name extension okay because the extension is also important and sometime the extension can be ttf another time it can be ndx so the best way to see what the extension of your file is either you can make a right click and can see in property which is ttf in this case or else you can go here on the top and then click on show and then do file name extension now here we can clearly see the font name so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this whole name and now here back in my drawing i need to go on the top in file then go here in prepare drawing properties and click on change now the setting that you need to look for is default annotation font okay so i'm gonna type here default underscore annotation and in fact you do not need to write it completely let me click on find now and here is the setting now paste the value that we have copied okay now i'm gonna do add change and there we go so the default font was font.ndx and now we are asking that this is the font that i want okay and this is also the reason why we went to that folder because when you see the font name here inside ptc crew parametric that only showed arial but here that shows the different name and in actual this is the name of the font now click on save just like we have got master configuration file which is also known as config.pro i guess most of you are aware of you are following this channel uh, you know how we can do lot many setting and customization utilizing config.pro in case of drawing it is active drawing.dtl so let me save it here in user public document and generally this is i would say is the correct location because the public document is a folder despite you are working for a company you always will have access to make change now let me click on close and then again close now next thing here what we need to do is we need to make connection between master configuration file which is config.pro and to the drawing configuration file and it is very essential guys that's how the creo will know where is your drawing customization for that again i'm gonna go here in file 
option and then configuration editor now here click on add and search for drawing underscore setup file okay and here actually i already have set up this path but again uh, let me show you how you can so again i'm gonna go in the same directory and it's up to you you know you can also create things like this where you are setting up all your customization at one place or you can keep it at a default location now i'm gonna hit ok and that's how now here we have specified where is the drawing setup file now i'm gonna click on export configuration and i'm going to save it now let me click on view close and let's do it is not displayed now let me actually quickly create a sample part maybe i'm gonna quickly create some maybe a rectangle and let's leave it i'm gonna add a hole and now let me go file new drawing and then let me specify the format okay so now let me click on general view and let's make it front probably i can also add a projection view now let me select both and make it no hidden make it hidden now let me create some of dimension okay and there you have it now we did all the customization and let me click here on this dimension and go to format and there we go so here you can see this was the default font we have set up and you can see i created everything from scratch and even if you know i close this and then i restart my creo it should able to retain all the settings that we did maybe i'm gonna take another example here and let me click on drawing and i'm gonna take the format if you also want to know why user format is coming why not i am seeing the normal general format and do check out the format setting video which was the 118th video in this series now let me click on open and again ok and let me again place journal view probably i can also go here and make it hidden and in terms of view type let's go with the front now uh, let me also select the dimension directly from here and no matter whether you choose the automated dimension or you create dimension by yourself here in Creo, you will see the font remain same that we have selected. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. And now you should also be able to select the font that you want permanently in your PTC Creo parametric drawing. Also, be sure to subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow the complete PTC Creo parametric series from zero and other engineering related topics. And I will see you soon in one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.